it's about sensitivity and how we approach that subject. You know, is there an elder you would like us to call? Do you have a friend or, you know, do you smudge or do you do cedar brushing? I keep showing up every day because I remember how much it meant to me having an outreach worker who believed in me and was there for me and how much of a difference it made in my life having access to services um, and having relationships with, with people who would just show up to check on me. I do work with some elders, one that I um, go to quite often for different things because um, she works in the same um, same area as me or like in the same building. So it's nice because I always go, I go tease her to bug her about stuff like <laughs> if I need a little bit of sage or something like that or if I just need to, um, need some, just some culture or just like, just didn't need to hear an elder laugh sometimes, it's nice. She understands what the opioid crisis is and she understands like the importance of like teaching different elders about naloxone training and stuff. Like she hosts, she does that, like will host naloxone training with elders and stuff. Having elders teach that stuff is really, I think it's neat. It's really cool to see that they're empowering themselves that way too. I know that when I was actively using substances, I had an elder in my life who told me it was okay to engage in cultural practices. And I had somebody who believed in me, who was non-judgmental, and I had access to cultural teachings while incarcerated and while early in my healing journey. And that made a huge difference for me to keep going. So we always make sure that we ask first before doing, because to do just do is very disrespectful. So we always need to keep in mind the individual and especially the vulnerability of that individual because we have no idea, no clue what traumas lie below. Uh, we've uh, worked with peers in our local area to create um, a backpack program with a, a partner, a community partner. Uh, what inspired the backpack program was another program that I um, put together is called All Clan Patrol. And it's, um, it's inspired by the Bear Clan Patrol in Winnipeg. And the reason we were inspired was that the, we met the elders that provided the uh, formula for the Bear Clan Patrol. And um, the, one of the elders that taught us was, um, um, she decided that along with her other elders that she wanted to see their people reclaim their, their part in security, securing their people, securing their nation. It's not only about the alcohol and drugs use, that's not uh, their only problem. Uh, traumas, um, colonial violence, um, settler violence, there's uh, missing and murdered, we're on the highway of tears here in Smithers. And um, so the All Clan Patrol is also designed to address those other issues, but it's also meant for harm reduction on the street. I've been asked for so many different things, um, everything from housing a lot of the time to getting into a shelter, to finding meaningful peer employment, to adopting a cat. <laughs> um, I've helped people access safer supply and I say safer supply instead of safe supply because there's a huge gap for people who use drugs. I think that having safer supply has made improvements for some people on an individual basis and I think that it's a step in the right direction but I don't think it's enough. I think that we need decriminalization, legalization, community regulation. A lot of the deaths that we see are not technically from an overdose. They're from an accidental poisoning from an illicit tainted drug supply. When spiritual healers are involved with us, um, I do let them know that when I, I will respect their wishes that they require us to be sober for four days before participating with them. I will respect them, but I also tell them when I'm operating with the smudging and with the uh, drumming and singing or the war canoe, that um, I don't require my patrons to have that four days of sobriety to see me. If, if, if they were using substances yesterday, I will still help them with smudge. There's trust in ourselves that we can operate with our healing and that um, harm reduction can involve spiritual healing 
with our patrons, regardless if they are using substances yesterday or within that four-day frame? 